Hey everyone. So we've got this comment from Joker's Playland. He wants he wants to know how you can make a player sprite face the mouse, irrespective of which direction they're moving in, on a four directional movement pattern. Okay, so let's see if we can get that working. So what I've got currently going on on the screen right now is just a background, <clears throat> which is just a tiled background. Some walls to stop me walking too high or too low, and a player sprite. The player sprite has four animations. It has one for walking down, which is very, very, very simple. One for walking up, which is equally simple. One for walking right, which is even simpler, and walking left which is the same level of simple and I use the WASD keys to move around he just moves around facing us at the front and if I let go he just continues to stomp his feet in the walk down animation now going to the now double click and we're going to create a new sprite and we're going to make this one 16 by 16 <clears throat> I'm going to make it black or blue because I've already got blue selected I'm going to go ahead and draw a really rubbish arrow and that's going to be my new cursor so I'm going to rename this one cursor go back to the event sheet I'm going to say system I'm going to say every tick mouse set cursor style to none cursor set position master X and master Y now the cursor is going to turn into this lovely new cursor that I made which is always good practice for making your own games because nobody likes to see the boring old Windows cursor now we need to go back in and say cursor and we're going to compare its Y position and we're going to say is less than or equal to the player sprites Y position if it is then we're going to go in and say sprite set animation to up going to reverse that we're going to change that to greater than and then set the cur uh, set this the animation to down now if I play it whether I'm got, I've got the mouse cursor anywhere above him and anywhere below him he's going to flip around irrespective of where he's walking so we can walk up and down if I'm above him he's going to face up and walk up and down now we need to know if we're going to go left or right now the, uh, the problem you're going to face here is if I'm up and to the left he's ideally going to want to have a diagonal facing pose and if I'm down to the left or right he's going to want to have a diagonal facing pose so really we want to kind of section off quadrants around him but the request was just a four directional movement so we are going to set our own little perimeters so if we go too far to the left he will just walk left and if he's too far to the right he's just going to walk right otherwise he's just going to face up so we're going to go back into these uh, events here and we're going to set sub events so we're going to hit B on the keyboard to create a sub event and we are going to say cursor compare X and we're going to say if it's greater than or equal to sprite.x minus 32 then we're going to play it up I'm going to select just this middle bit here and push C on the keyboard to create a condition I'm going to say cursor and I'm going to compare the X again and I'm going to say is greater is less than sorry sprite.x and I'm going to say minus 32 so in order for me to show the up animation all of these things have to be true the mouse has to be above the player it has to be to the left no more than 35 pixels and to the right no more sorry no more than 32 pixels so effectively somewhere in this zone so let's copy that out and put it down again so now we're going to say if the cursor is above the sprite which is the y position uh, less than or equal to the sprites y position but we're going to say if the cursor the cursor's x position is less than or equal to the X position the sprite minus 32 and we can probably just delete that one if it's less than we're going to want to play the left oh, no, no, we're going to want to play the left animation there you go so now he's up 
if I go too far to the left, he goes to the left. Now we need to repeat that on the right hand side. So we're going to go ahead and copy that out. And we're going to keep it so that we're going to say the, curse is, the cursor is above. But we're going to now change this one to greater than x plus 32. And if it is, we're going to play right. So now he can go left, he can go right, and he will be up as long as the cursor is up and not to the left or the right. We just need to now repeat that for the bottom, and I think we've got ourselves a little tutorial. I like it's always good practice. I like to com comment out my code. So I'm going to call this one up facing code, and then I'm going to call this down facing code. So everything under here will be downward facing. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that, pop that into there delete that and pop that to down. Now I'm going to copy these two out, drag them underneath, and we just need to change this one to this one. So let's go ahead, delete that, delete that, and we're going to copy that out, pop that there, copy that out, put that there, and that should be that. There we go. And before we finish, a massive thank you and a shout out to our wonderful Patreon and YouTube channel members, Foozle CC, Retro Galaxy, Olivier Bernier, Mari Lewis, Enmark Games, Jess Matt, Tor Hamak Alessanderson, Rob Martin K, Julian Cruz, Raul Son Gonzalo, 8 Bit Gamer, David Ragnarok, John Allegreza, James Kurzweil, and Stella Studio. Thank you so much for supporting the game dev journey. And for more information about what's on offer on the Patreon, there's a link in the description.